I believe our first morel. We're not going to harvest this today. We're going to let that get some size to it. But we found something else outside the wire. Let's check it out. Gardening outside the wire. There's a lot you can eat that's not in the garden. Today is Saturday, and Saturday is dedicated to you and what's going on in your garden. We got a lot of questions after the episode about critters. One of the reasons we have a wire, a hot wire. A couple years ago, we realized we had to have some kind of protection from the deer and the other critters. And that's why I've had a hot wire. I don't think this charger's work. Ah. Ah. Oh, yeah, Ooh. it's working. It's working. We also had the woven wire. The woven wire acts as a trellis also. My tree guy solution for deer is Irish spring soap. We take and whittle it all the way around the garden. We also have pieces in the garden. That helps some. Another good thing is on your taller poles, if you put a plastic sack on there, that rustling, if they're not accustomed to being in the city where they're pretty much tamed down, out here in the country, that does kind of keep the deer away. I've also have strings and other things that float around in the garden. Sometimes it seems like I'm not picking up, but there is a purpose. If things are moving, the critters kind of stay away. We also talked about things you could eat that are outside the wire the other day. Our dandelions, our purple dead nettle. You can really see the purple flowers on these today. When you dry these, they make a really nice tea. Eating them raw, it's kind of a fuzzy mouthful. I also hang bits of twine here and there. That just creates movement. It also allows me to have twine whenever I need it. Since Saturday is dedicated to you and what's going on in your garden, I thought we'd take a look at a couple zones as we progress into the spring. We're going to start in zone 8 with Mike and Linda. Obviously zone 8 is a little further ahead than most. Look at this garlic. It's coming along really well. Those onions are beautiful. The potatoes are coming on strong. And Mike, Linda, you even have tomatoes in the ground. Thanks for the inspiration. And now as we move a little further north, Lynette has begun to plant her garden and the raised bed is filling out nicely. And as we move a little further north, Chris has got seedlings in. So the progression of the planting has started across America and that's very, very exciting. We'll be out here in the garden tomorrow planting a lot of stuff. I got a bunch of things in containers that need to go in the garden. I hope you join me for that. But for right now, we're looking outside the wire. And while gathering a few more leaves for the garden, look what I stumbled across. Rishi mushrooms. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to learn more about mushrooms and we'll make an episode about that. I invite you to join this loose-knit group of people that like to get their hands dirty and grow things that taste good. Send us a picture now and again to help inspire others. You can do this too. And until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.